Today, we're gonna learn about the nervous system. But before we do, subscribe. Yeah, make sure you do. So, let's start the video. The nervous system controls everything you do. This means breathing, walking, thinking, and even feeling. You can consider the nervous system as your body's communication center. Your brain and other parts of your body use the nervous system to communicate through a network of nerve cells called neurons, and these neurons run through your entire body. Your brain processes this information and informs your body what to do. It's a little bit different for me though, because I don't really have a body. Your brain even controls things you don't think about, like breathing and your heartbeat. Have you ever touched something very hot and immediately pulled your hand away from it? Yes! Well, not my hand, but I burned my tongue one time. Ah! Well, that's your nervous system working. So I guess it does work for me still. Yeah. The nerves in your hand told your brain, Ow! This is really hot. Your brain took that information and replied back to your hand. Move your hand now! Get to the chopper! Hmm? What? These messages move to your brain at the speeds of over 250 miles per hour, or in less than two seconds. That is fast. Hey, guess what? Each nerve is made up of many cells called neurons. What'd you call me? A neuron. Oh! So I'm like a nerve? Totally. Oh, a neuron. Billions of these neurons receive electrical impulses from nerves in your body to alert your brain to danger or pain. Nerves are kind of like wires that carry certain signals or impulses throughout your body. And inside each nerve is a bundle of nerve fibers. Some nerves are really long and they go all the way from your feet to your spinal cord. The spinal cord is a very important part of your nervous system. It runs from your brain down through your entire back. The spinal cord also has nerves that branch out to each organ and body part. And these send messages along the spinal cord to the brain and other parts of your body. Hey, guess what? Did you know that you have neurons throughout your entire body and over 100 billion just in your brain? There are two different types of nerves in your body that do different things. They are motor and sensory nerves, and each one goes in the opposite direction. Sensory neurons take the information you get from your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin, and then send them to your brain. These nerves carry signals to your brain telling it what is happening in the outside world. Motor neurons communicate with your body by taking messages away from your brain and back to the rest of your body. Motor nerves use your brain to send signals telling your muscles to expand or contract so that you can move. So remember, motor nerve signals travel from the brain to the muscle and sensory nerve signals travel from your senses, like touching something hot, and then send it to your brain. And hey, guess what? Did you know that when you learn something new, your brain creates pathways between these neurons so that you can remember them for next time? That's pretty cool, right? Did you know that there are different parts of your nervous system? Your nervous system is separated into your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. Your central nervous system includes your brain and your spinal cord. 
your peripheral nervous system or PNS stretches throughout your body like a highway from your spinal cord. Your peripheral nervous system connects the central nervous system to the organs and other body parts. So these messages can move from your body to, you guessed it, your brain. But wait, there's more. The peripheral nervous system is then split into your somatic nervous system and your autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system functions automatically, so we don't actually have to think about it. Your brain does it all for you, like breathing and even digesting. I think we have a whole entire video all about that. Then you have your somatic nervous system. The somatic nervous system is for moving your muscles that we control by thinking. The somatic nervous system is used for things like jumping with our legs or moving our arms up and down, running, and clicking that subscribe button, which you should do right now. Wow, now that's a lot of information. But did you know that while you were watching this video, all the things we learned were done with your central nervous system? That is pretty cool. Good job to you and your central nervous system. Absolutely. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about the central nervous system. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.